Uh, so we're going to move on. We've got our next guest with us. It is uh, Greg Laporte from Sonnet. Hi, Greg. Thank you for coming on. Hi. Uh, Greg, tell us a little bit, first of all, about uh, Sonnet and what it is that you guys do. We've been around uh, for 27 years. Yeah. Uh, we've uh, evolved from uh, processor upgrade cards to the, for the Mac to uh, post-production uh, high-end storage, shared yeah. storage, attached storage. Uh, uh, all for post-production editing. We've got high-speed uh, media readers for S by S, P2, yeah. uh, compact flashcards, uh, simultaneous ingest. We have a whole line. We probably have the most comprehensive line of PCIe and Express cards, you know, eSATA, USB yeah. 3, gigabit Ethernet, 10 gigabit Ethernet, pretty much every Firewire, everything that you might want to add in terms of I.O. Uh, or storage interface we have. Uh, fiber channel, 8 gigabit, yeah. 16 gigabit fiber channel. And then um, we have uh, a whole line of uh, PCIe expansion products uh, with a Thunderbolt interface, yeah. uh, which is becoming more important as the Mac Pro, as you know, yeah. as the uh, new Mac Pro is going to be without PCIe yeah. expansion. And uh, uh, so that's the kind of products we have. We have a new uh, upcoming Thunderbolt uh, docking station uh, that is uh, that we've just come out with. Uh, I'll be shipping in a couple months. So we'll, we'll concentrate a bit on Thunderbolt because this is something I'm quite interested in as well. I'm a heavy Mac user, uh, but Thunderbolt is now moving to the PC. You get PC laptops with yeah. Thunderbolt as well, so it's not just Mac. But I mean, we use I use a lot of Sonic Kit on my iMac, for example, for storage. Right. Mm -hmm. So let's go. Go in a little more, more detail of what you guys can do, especially with the PCI expansion side of things All right. regarding Thunderbolt, because that's, that's an area where I'm sure a lot of people with, especially with Macs, iMacs, and as you say, the new Mac Pro coming out being this big and not being able to put anything in it. Well, we kind of got in on the ground floor uh, of Thunderbolt with yeah. PCI expansion, and it was really popular right from the get-go. And we started with desktop chassis, one and two slot uh, chassis, uh, with and without auxiliary power for the extra power hungry yep. cards and then quickly discovered that there was a opportunity for uh, rack mount and we came out with a uh, we had already come out with a very popular product called the rack mac mini right and the way to rack up mac minis yeah and then we decided you know we could hybridize the two and we came out with the x mac mini server which has been phenomenally popular mac mini goes inside a 1u rack mount chassis yeah two PCI expansion slots. One of them can be full height, full length. We're just upgrading that this uh, next month to include auxiliary power, so that, like, for example, uh, Avid HDX card uh, can run in that. Uh, right. A Red Rocket X, which yep. is gonna require auxiliary power, can run in that. And everything's included. We take all the connectors that are in the back of the Mac Mini, move them out to the back panel of the server. Right. Uh, so it looks like a server. Mac Mini's hidden inside, yeah. it's a variable, uh, speed fan, air cooled, so we have that. And then we just uh, upgraded our line of desktop chassis and introduced another rack mount chassis uh, with Thunderbolt 2. Right, so tell, yeah, tell us a bit about Thunderbolt 2. Thunderbolt 2 is, uh, so Thunderbolt is, has been 20 gigabit per second performance, but divided by two. Right. PCIe gets 10, yep. and then video gets 10. Right. Mini display port connection is the same as the Thunderbolt connector. Yes. So they put those down the same wire, but um, separate. And so you had a maximum of 10 gigabit per second. Okay. Uh, but now, uh, with Thunderbolt 2, the PCIe uh, hungry uh, cards, for example, or devices yeah. that need more bandwidth can take it. Right. So they can get up to 20 gigabits per, gigabits per second of performance. On the other side, if you're connecting 4K video, it can take what it needs yeah. beyond 10 gigabits per second in order to get that. Uh, so it's a flexible interface. So the, in the new uh, Mac Pro, yes. there are six Thunderbolt 2 right. ports and three Thunderbolt 2 controllers. So for those that were thinking, oh, I can't get a, a Mac Pro anymore because I'm not going to be able to put any, any cards in it, this is no longer the case. Because no, you guys we're, can... We're here. You, you guys are there. So Thunderbolt 2 is available, is, is coming to Mac Pro. Yep. Uh, are we expecting to see that across the board as well? It's yes. Be... So, for a number, most of the uh, major 
uh, PC manufacturers are on board yeah. with Thunderbolt, and many have announced Thunderbolt 2, HP, just this was last week yeah. uh, at the uh, Intel Developer Conference, Workstation and Laptop coming, Asus, another yeah. one. So uh, Intel's, I think, doing a very good job of getting all of the PC manufacturers uh, to move forward with uh, Thunderbolt 2 as well. They're very committed to it. Yeah. It's an excellent interface, and so. And it's always, it was always interested me that people always struggled to get Thunderbolt devices out, but you guys never seem to. Uh, you were always there at the beginning when Thunderbolt came out. There was Sonic Kit ready to go. Mm -hmm. um, as far as availability goes of the new products that we talked about today, yeah. what's what's the availability on those? So we're shipping the new products: the three-slot yep. desktop and rack mount, the two-slot. Uh, at the end of the month, but we can't enable it for Thunderbolt 2 until there's a host to plug it into. Sure. And the operating system supporting it, which yep. is fall of this year, so yep. sometime before December 21st, you would guess. That's the end of fall. Right. And we, um, so we're going to ship them with Thunderbolt 1 and a free upgrade to Thunderbolt 2. Right. Just pay the postage and yep. we'll get you the updated technology and you'll be good to go. Brilliant. So from the the end of September, October? Yep. You'll be able to order these products. Right. Uh, obviously, you already have a, a full range of Thunderbolt products out there as well, as you mentioned. Uh, if people want to see those, uh, they can obviously come to your stand here. Yep. Um, is there a stand number by any chance that you can? There is, and it is not coming to the top of my head. Do you know what? Or uh, Hall 7. In, so, Hall 7, look, find you in there. Yep. Download the IBC app, the best way of finding you. Good way to find I, us. Um, if they can't get to IBC, they're watching this online, what's your website? www.sonettech.com, yep. S-O-N-N-E-T-T-E-C-H.com. All our products are there, including the new Thunderbolt dock. Brilliant. Fantastic, Greg. Thank you very much for this. Uh, go and have a look at the website. I've used Sonic products, especially their hard drives uh, systems, and they've been amazing to work with uh, over the past year or so. So definitely I advise go and have a look at their website and finding out everything you need to know. And uh, when I get my Mac Pro, I'm going to buy one of their chassis as well. That's for sure.